On Saturday, February 18th in West Lafayette, the Spartans were dealt another tough blow to morale. With just nine minutes left in the second half against Purdue, Aaron Harris came down hard after a missed shot, resulting in a significant knee injury, removing yet another scholarship player from Tom Izzo's roster. Now with just four regular season games left on the schedule, the Spartans have been put in a unique position. After a roller coaster season of ups and downs and high expectations, the team has to grind harder than it ever has before with a sharpshooting senior out of the lineup. Five games. That's all that's guaranteed for the Spartans over the next three weeks. Just five games to prove their worth, show their resolve, and push the limits with a 20th consecutive trip to the NCAA tournament on the line. continue to keep improving and it sounds like a ridiculous statement at this time of year but under the circumstances we've been under and now take a 25 minute a game player out of the lineup that's been there for a long time and um, our, maybe our best defensive player and maybe our best glue guy right now in Aaron Harris it's going to be another adjustment so it's kind of the way the year's been at least we should be ready for it but we got to still clean up our turnovers get more consistent with our defense home and road and uh, keep making shots. I've just seen this become a, really a closer team since the beginning of the year. Um, from the jump, we were really a close team. You know, just from you know, my experience from being with past teams, I've never been on a team, you know, as good as chemistry as this team, you know, on and off the court. But I think this team has also been a team that's just overcome so much with so much adversity that's been, we've been through. I feel like this team has really became a tougher team. You know, um, you know, also, I just feel like we've really been a team that's just been able to take our bumps and bruises and just keep on going. And a team that's really been willing to learn, you know, with everybody having to move to different spots because, you know, you know, at the beginning we didn't have any bigs. You know, we lost Miles for that short time. You know, now we, we don't have E. So, I, you know, this team has been very, you know, flexible with, you know, just the things that we've been dealt with. And I feel like, you know, we've been a strong team and we just got to keep overcoming and just keep moving forward. We don't need anybody's help, okay? What we need to do is get Michigan State where Michigan State belongs. And uh, I, I can only, probably won't say it again to you because I, I, I'm not giving it to nobody, but you've been through hell. It's going to make each one of you a better man when you're done. It's going to make us a better program when we accomplish some things going through it this way. And uh, I'm telling you guys, we're going to get this done. But it's a choice. And the choice is every night, are you getting rest? Every day, can you sacrifice a couple more weeks? You know, can you get in here and watch a little more film? Can you think about what you got to do to get it done? And uh, I promise you, we're gonna. So if we're gonna, you're gonna. If together we get it done, I ain't worried about it. I just want to leave it all on the court, man. You know, take one game at a time, uh, you know, and give ourselves the best chance to win these games. So just leave it all on the floor and, and let the chips fall where they may. You know, this program, you know, we just got to play well enough to give ourselves a chance to win. But, you know, we want to win. There's been so many things out there that they've gone through, and yet, have I seen a difference? I have. Do I notice it as much as I should? Probably not, because I'm dealing with so many other things, but um, really proud of this team right now, and uh, I just want to finish this job, because I think it still could be one of the more rewarding seasons of my career. I think we got a lot closer, you know, going to the trip, 
to Hawaii and then, and then going to the Bahamas, also going to New York and then playing at Duke. You know, we played in so many places this year and, you know, it brought a lot of camaraderie to our team and, you know, our freshmen have been a big part of our team and they, they've grown. Uh, their bodies have changed, their games have developed um, and they're playing some great basketball for us right now. But I just think we got a lot closer as the season went on and, you know, it's been a tough year for us as far as losing some key guys early in the season, but, you know, I think it helped us to rally together. Hey guys, better today. How are we gonna bring it at the start? How are you gonna hold each other accountable? How are you gonna hold yourself accountable? No. One thing that Michigan State stands for is just, you know, sending their things out the right way. And, you know, initially that's what I want to do, but now, you know, my passion for that has grown even more now that, you know, we have three seniors that's out, you know, with Ben, Gavin, and Aaron, if you really notice that there's three seniors. It just makes me want to even go even more harder than what I've been trying to go to. And I just want to give more than what I've been giving, just give 120%, not just 100%. I mean, as it gets near March, as it gets when the sun's shining at the end of practice, it's always a special time around here. This one's a little more stressful, you know? I mean, there's, we've already talked about the elephant in the room, you know, there is one. Usually by now, it's what are we gonna be, a two, a four, a six seed, you know? And uh, we're fighting to be in it. But uh, somehow we're gonna find a way to win the fight. You know, you all have goals you want to accomplish, whether it be individually or team-wise. This is the time of year you're competing for a purpose now. There's no more tomorrows. Everybody knows what's on the line. That's what you play for. That's why you competed your whole life, guys. You've got to compete for a purpose right now. And the purpose is not only to get in that tournament, but get better each and every day. Welcome back to East Lansing for the last of two home games for this regular season. It's Michigan State, it's Nebraska. And here at the Breslin Center, got a packed house. As the Spartans, Sands, Harris, Women's Hip, and Alvin Ellis is into the starting rotation for Michigan State. Here comes a turnaround jump shot. Oh, what a great shot by the Southpaw. Well, Jacobson read it and had his hand in Miles' face, but Miles able to knock it down. That was a tough shot. It really was. Watson and Glenn Watson connects on a three. Their best outside shooter for the Huskers. Josh Lansford cleans up the pass and puts it in. And the offensive rebound now, Michigan State's friend. A great job there by Josh Lankford. That's just pure hustle. Michigan State is playing some pretty good defense here this evening. and has it all by himself. He bounces it off the glass. Showtime for Miles Bridges. Bridges at three. A natural gamer. You can sense him sensing the moment, wanting to take over the game. So here comes MSU with three seconds. Joe Winston from half court lets it go. He got it! He got it! Wow! Tonight's performance was outstanding. When the game mattered, it was the points of the paint that continued to keep the lead for the Spartans and that turned the basketball over. Wisconsin will bring in a new five, and Sean Respert will get his due. And we will let you enjoy it. With just one home game remaining in the 2016-2017 season, Senior Day is fast approaching for the Spartans. Senior Day for any collegiate athlete is special as you bid farewell to the fans that have cheered you on for four years. 
but there's something about Breslin Center on Senior Day that brings out the best in not only fans, but players as well, which makes the moment that much more special. It's a time when people can really appreciate what they've given, you know. 90% of the guys that go to college come in as boys and, and as starting to become men. And uh, I think fans can see it. I think fans can remember back when they went to college. I think you kind of appreciate then, boy, he wasn't very good as a freshman or sophomore, but look what he's become as a junior and senior. I just think it's a way to, to thank him. I think it's a way for our kids to appreciate the support they've gotten for those four years. And uh, it's a very difficult day for the coach. I mean, it's the pregame is tough. The, you know, looking at those guys is a little harder, making decisions you gotta make, but, um, but it is a special day that's a memory maker for those guys when they leave. Make sure that you give your all so this can be the best, the happiest, the most exhilarating memory that you've had in, college, in your college career. And I'm telling you, if you play your butt off, the outcome will take care of itself. I'm asking you to make a memory for these four guys. We're playing for the seniors. That's what this day is all about. Let's go! Let's go! Throughout Spartan history, some of the best moments have taken place on Senior Day. From claiming multiple Big Ten titles to setting program records, there's a different kind of ambience in the Breslin Center on Senior Day, as Spartan greats of years past aim to put on a memorable show for their faithful fans before kissing center court and leaving the Breslin Four for one last time. Whether you came to campus as a five-star recruit or as a walk-on, Senior Day is a chance to shine, which is exactly what Andy Harvey did in 2005 when he started against Penn State, even working his way onto the scoreboard early in the game. That year, five seniors got the chance to live their childhood dreams of making it to the Final Four in St. Louis. Just a few years ago, the Spartans needed to win on Senior Night to help secure a bid to the NCAA Tournament. Travis Trice stepped up, scoring 27 points and turning a nine-point deficit to Purdue into a six-point victory. Weeks later, the team made it to Indianapolis in another Final Four appearance. In 2010, Raymar Morgan bid farewell to the Spartan fans with 22 points and 10 rebounds as MSU defeated Michigan 64-48. The win secured the team's second straight Big Ten title and propelled the team to a Final Four run. The Spartans secured a share of the Big Ten title in 2012, but suffered a heartbreaking one-point loss to Ohio State. But senior Draymond Green still said his thank yous to the Izzone and Spartan faithful in an amusing and passionate speech spanning over eight minutes. That speech propelled the Spartans to a victory just a week later as they defeated Ohio State in the Big Ten Tournament Championship game. You know, it's, it's tough to get a pair of socks out of Pruder. Think like, oh man, Pruder, no socks. But, you know, he do a great job with us, and at the end of the day, he makes sure we got everything we need. I want to thank him. And I'm talking so long because I don't want to leave this floor. So I'm going to keep on talking. Oh, but thank everybody. You know. Perhaps the most memorable senior night in MSU history came in 2000, when the Spartans dominated Michigan 114-63 to, to earn a share of the Big Ten title with senior Mateen Cleaves leading the way with a record-setting 20 assists. After the outstanding outing, Mateen grabbed the mic and predicted the Spartans' national championship victory. Hey, but I just want to thank everybody for the support. And I have to thank the Izzo for supporting us and being behind us the whole year. I got to thank all my Flintstones that's been here supporting, been supporting us. And I just want to thank everybody, y'all stay behind us because we will win a national championship. Oh, I remember Steve Smith's senior day was special for me because it was the first kid I ever recruited here. And, you know, he had such an illustrious career. Uh, I remember Team Cleves' senior day because we played Michigan and won in a big, big way. He set records and it was just a celebration of a championship plus senior day. I remember Draymond Green senior day because uh, we started having the ceremony about six, eight years ago after the last game instead of before and we got beat on a buzzer shot by uh, Ohio State and 
he did such an incredible job of not letting that dampen uh, the career. So uh, I've had many, you know, last year's was, was tough because uh, those seniors had accomplished so much here. Um, you know, Charlie and Andre had accomplished some things. I mean, but they've all been special to me. Um, I think this one will be because it's, it's been different in a completely different way. It's the 16th ranked Wisconsin Badgers and the Michigan State Spartans. A win for the Badgers puts them in a first place tie with Purdue who lost last night in Ann Arbor. A win for the Spartans gives them a signature win for their tournament resume. It's senior day here in East Lansing. Final home game of the season and the only meeting this season between the Badgers and the Spartans. It's a three which will not go down for Langford, but saved inside by Ward. Looking for Pritzel, errant pass, ahead to Winston, here come the Spartans, look out! Winston, open triple. Winston has played about six minutes. This incredible run began when he entered the game. McQuay the pull-up. Matt McQuay, my goodness has he been great leading a 13-2 Michigan State run. It's Ward, spinning into Hack. How about that with the right hand? Ward is a machine. Seven of nine. Oh my goodness, how about Kyle Arns? He averages two points, he plays an average of eight minutes, and he comes up with a big time shot. A three, hard shot, a shove and no call. Picked up by Langford. Vacuums it in, puts in his ninth point. McQuaid, shot clock at four. Tough shot, got it! Winston, three! Cassius Winston. He just canned his second trade. Michigan State comes up with that signature win they've been looking for. They go to 18 and 11. They are peaking at the right time and trying to get the double bye in the upcoming Big Ten tournament. Van Dyke joined the Spartans as a walk-on prior to the 2014-15 season. And after redshirting, he saw his first action in 2015-16. He is a two-time recipient of the Tim Bogracus Walk-On Award, an academic All-Big Ten honoree. He was placed on scholarship prior to the 2016-2017 season. I want you to know that Matt came here as a walk-on, so I'm prejudiced to him. Did an unbelievable job, started, helped us beat Minnesota as a starter this year, and good luck to you. Alvin Ellis III is the most experienced player on the Michigan State roster, playing today in his 130th game as a Spartan. He's already appeared in three prior NCAA tournaments, including being a part of the 2015 Final Four. He's been a contributor to two Big Ten Tournament Championship teams in both 2014 and 2016. And Elvin Ellis, guy that could have left. He's taught me a little bit about perseverance and hanging in there and he bounced back to have maybe one of the better senior years. He's had some unbelievable games lately and hopefully he's got a few left in him. After sitting out the 2014-2015 season due to NCAA transfer rules, Harris became a key member of the Spartan rotation as a junior, ranking fourth on the team in both scoring and assists. He ranked among the Big Ten's leading three-point shooters and also emerged as a strong defender. As a senior, he led MSU and made three-point field goals while also increasing his scoring average. When, uh, when Aaron Harris got hurt, you know, you have those days that you dream. You know, I told Mike Garland, now it's been 17 years ago when the Cleves and Peterson and, and all those guys, the Bell and Hudsons were here and we went in our fourth Big Ten championship. And I said, we played Michigan. I said, just please let us win by enough that with 30 seconds left, I can sit down and enjoy it with them. Well, we beat them by 50. So, so, 
So I enjoyed the last five minutes. Well, I too want to thank God because today I prayed that we'd be up enough that I could get Aaron in to kiss the yes or the Spartan head. And sure enough, it happened. So I'm going to close it up real quick just by thanking all of you, thanking my team, thanking my assistants, thanking everybody that's been involved in our program. I just want you to know that, you know, I understood when you were a little frustrated during the year, but you should never, ever, ever, ever doubt when people got a heart of a lion. Spartans have a heart of a lion. And they thought they were going to take that 19th straight. And they thought they were going to take it away from us. And these guys wouldn't let it happen. So we do have a lot of work yet to do. I got an incredible bunch of guys. You've been incredible fans. Thank you for everything you did for us this year. But don't quit following now because the best is yet to come. Thank you.